So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up this Ponogachi device. So this, uh, the GitHub repository is little old. So people were getting problems uh, using this, uh, this device. So let me show you how you can set up this device. So over here, you can see this device is working. So I'm not going to touch this device. So let, let's just go through the setup in a moment. So first of all, you have to go this site. This is ponogachi.ai and this device uh, is very handy and you can just carry this device. So let's just go through the setup first and you have to go in the installation directory. And over here, you have to go to uh, this flash and image. And over here, you can see they have provided a link to, to the GitHub repository. But unfortunately, this repository is uh, quite old. It's from 2021. And this is not working with the latest screen, which is version 4. We have screen version 4. So it's not working with this. This repository is not working with this screen. So there is another repository, uh, which is uh, the updated repository. So let me close this link. And I will provide this link in the description. So all you have to do is you have to just go on this link and download this repository instead of the uh, repository which is provided on the official site. So you have to go on this repository and download this repository. And then what you have to do is you have to flash it using Belina. Over here you can see. So all you have to do is you just have to select. Uh, you have to just open this uh, Belina tool. This is the image flasher. And I'm using a portable version, so that's why it's taking time. So all you have to do is you just have to select this image and you have to select your SD card and then you have to flash it. Correct? And after flashing, you just have to insert the card directly into your device. And the device might take some time uh, to kick off because uh, uh, on the first start it will generate the keys so it might take some time right and then what you have to do is you have to go in control panel and you have to go in network and internet setting network and uh, sharing center and you have to go in change adapter settings and over here you will see your new adapter once it's plugged in with your uh, system you will see a new adapter so over here you can see i have just plugged it with the uh, with the data cable over here so the one which is uh, directly uh, touching the port of the screen is the data cable of raspberry pi zero so you have to make sure you connect your uh, uh, device with this port on the first start right so you have to make sure after uh, uh, you have finished the set setup, you can just use the uh, power port over here. Uh, but once uh, uh, this is in a setup mode, you have to use the data cable and uh, sorry, data port. And then you have to take out the handshakes. Uh, still, you have to use this data port. I'm going to show you in a moment. Right. So this is an easy setup. And over here, you can see this RNDS Ethernet. In case if uh, you don't see this RNDS uh, gadget or this adapter, all you have to do is you have to go in device manager and over here you will see com port right once it's connected and there is no driver installed it will show you the com port so you have to go on your com port but over here let me show you in a uh, in a adapter network adapter so you have to select your com port and you have to update the driver and you will find the driver over here uh, let me show you the link from which I am doing this. So you will find these drivers over here on this link. And I'll also provide this link and this link in the uh, description. You can see all the instructions from this link as well. So you have to download this driver, the second class driver, and you have to unzip this driver using 7-zip or any other unzip software. And again, you have to go in your device manager, update driver, browse from your computer, and you have to select the location on which you have downloaded this driver. Once this is downloaded, you will see this adapter. 
right uh, which is working so that uh, once that adapt you will see this adapter uh, my adapter is ethernet 3 your might be different all you have to do is you have to enable the internet first so you have to select your uh, wi-fi or any ethernet connection which you are using uh, to connect to the internet so you have to go in properties and sharing and then you have to allow the ethernet over here which is the rnds ethernet free you have to allow the sharing over here so you have to take over here and select the ethernet from here and you have to make it okay and then you have to provide the ip addresses so you have to go on your rnds adapter and properties and you have to go in internet protocol version 4 ip version 4 and then you have to go in properties and over here here you can use uh, 192 but i'm using 10.0.0.1 and 255 255 and gateway should be the same 10.0.0.1 and you have to do OK, close, and then you can use it with your SSH software. So I'm using PuTTY. So let me connect 10.0.0.2, right? So uh, let me show you why I'm using two as well, logically. So basically the gateway is one. If you see it over here, if I'll put the gateway, it should be one. And the first IP which will be assigned will be one, right? Which, which will be two basically so one is the gateway and two will be the ip so that's why we are using two over here so that's the logic basically zero dot zero dot two and let's just hit enter and over here you can see it's asking us for the uh, username and password so let's just type pi and raspberry and it's connected as you can see so let's just do sudo su and let's just clear out and now what we have to do is we have to enable uh, something so that we can you know just get out get all the handshakes and all those things from this device so what we are going to use is we are going to use uh, ftp so first we have to enable the ftp so let's just change the password because we are going to use the root username and uh, password for the FTP so let's just do password root and let's just type the password that's done let's just clear out and then what we have to do is we have to enable the FTP service so for that we have to go in nano etc ssh and ssh d dot d underscore config and on this file you have to enable permit root login and say yes right and all these instructions are provided over here i'm just going through these instructions in a video so over here you can see these all these instructions over here right see how you can enable S, uh, sftp and how you can change the file so all the instructions are provided on this link so you can go through this link and let's just do control x and then we have to restart the service and let's just use our filezilla to connect and it's connected right over here you can see it's connected Right now we don't have any handshakes because we, we just started our device and it might take some time. So over here, if I'll show you, you will see this. This is right now in manual mode because we have connected with our uh, data cable over here. Once you will connect it with power mode, it will come in auto mode and it will take around uh, 15 to 20 minutes to come in AI mode. So AI mode is the best mode uh, because it will learn all the all the things which are in your vicinity and then try to do the handshake right so you have you have to wait for 15 to 20 minutes after connecting with your power port so let's just uh, see few other settings so let's just go in etc directory
and let's just do the config dot toml file as well so i think it's let me see where we can find the config file so let's just go in configuration and over here you can see this is the location of our config file so let's just copy and over here you can see this config file so let's just edit this file and we can update this file using the same link uh, from which we have downloaded the image so let's just copy these details and let's just do control c and paste and let's just save and over here you can provide your own network as well so you can exclude your network basically so let me just whitelist my network and uh, in comma separated you can give other networks as well which you want to uh, exclude so, so spelling mistake right. and i'll put the same network in exclude network as well and let's just save and let me change the name over here as well right and let's just upload once it's uploaded we have we can reboot right so it will take two to three minutes to reboot so once it's rebooted you can use this device right? so let me show you right now and let, let me show you another uh, thing on on this device so you can see the screen on your uh, on your uh, desktop as well in your browser so let me just go 10.0.0.2 and port 8080 and over here you can see the screen like this and you can see all the profile and all this these links as well like the plugins and all these things right so you can turn on the plugins and disable things like plugins from your browser as well so how you can do it it's very simple again you have to open your file and on this ponogachi.ai and usage you will see this user interface the web ui and from there you have to copy these two lines and paste it over here in your toml file config your toml file and you can change the username and password and then you can save this file and upload and again you have to reboot once it's rebooted you have to just go on your uh, browser and type this uh, IP address with port 8080 and you can use uh, this device from your browser as well so this is how you can set up this device very easy to set up and very effective device uh, and this is how you can set up this device uh, from the latest repository